Hello, I'm Mayor Phil Good with your weekly update. I want to offer my congratulations to Sarah Clausen, who's been named the Forest Supervisor of the Prescott National Forest effective December 31st, 2023. Sarah has been in the Prescott area for nine years as the District Ranger for the Bradshaw and Chino Valley Ranger Districts. These districts, which encompass a wide range of ecosystems and host a variety of public uses, are known for their highly complex wildland urban interface, partnership driven efforts in fire and hazardous fuels management, developed and dispersed cross boundary recreation, active cattle grazing, and collaborative ecological restoration efforts across a diversity of habitats and watersheds. Sarah originally joined the Forest Service in 2010 as a program specialist for the Pacific Southwest Region's Fire and Aviation Management Program. Prior to coming to the Bradshaw and Chino Valley Ranger Districts, she served in several other districts across California and Arizona. Sarah is replacing Dale Dieter, who is retiring after 35 years with the Forest Service. During Dale's tenure, an excellent collaboration has been built with our own Prescott Fire Department and other local agencies. The interagency cooperation in the greater Prescott area is often noted and held up as an example for the entire country. We'll miss the leadership of Dale Dieter, but I know that we are in very good hands with Sarah Clausen. Congratulations to both on their new opportunities. Due to the upcoming holiday schedule, Council has four meetings tomorrow, Tuesday, December 19th. At 9 a.m., Council will meet in executive session where they will discuss and consider the employment of the city manager, consulting with the city attorneys for legal advice, and consider a possible dispute resolution related to this situation. Although executive sessions are not open to the public, any vote that takes place must be done in public. At 10 a.m., there will be a workshop for Council in which they'll receive their annual Open Meeting Law training. This will be an excellent review for all Council members, as well as other Board, Committee, and Commission members. It will cover Open Meeting Law, Conflicts of Interest, Council Rules of Procedure, the Board's Committee and Commission Code of Conduct, Harassment and Public Records Request Law. The meeting will be viewed on Channel 64, Facebook Live, or on the city's website. During the Council study session, which begins at 1 p.m., there'll be a presentation and discussion regarding an overview of the city's Recreation Services Department. We'll also have a presentation regarding business licenses in the city of Prescott. The city is one of the few municipalities in Arizona that does not have a current business license. This presentation will review the history of Prescott's short-lived business license, why it was started, and why it was stopped. Other Arizona business licenses will be examined, as well as the potential advantages and benefits should Prescott decide to return to a business license environment. The meeting will also be streamed live on our regular channels, the Facebook page, the city website, the YouTube channel, and Channel 64. During the voting meeting at 3 p.m., only one item is on the regular agenda. Council will consider approving a settlement agreement and the purchase and sale agreement between the City of Prescott and Chamberlain Development for approximately 76.3 acres of real property near the Prescott Regional Airport, Ernest A. Love Field. Finally, Council will make a decision regarding the future employment of the City Manager, which may include a resolution of pending disputes in the form of a settlement agreement. The settlement agreement is confidential information subject to Rule 408 of the Arizona Rules of Evidence. This settlement agreement may have a potential financial impact, which is part of the department's budget. In other meetings for the week, there will be an Airport Advisory Committee meeting on Tuesday at 2 p.m. at the Airport Administrative Conference Room, 6630 Airport Avenue. On Wednesday the 20th, the CDBG Advisory Committee will meet at 1.30 p.m. in the Council Chambers. The City of Prescott will be closed on Monday, December 25th in observance of the Christmas holiday and on Monday, January 1st, 2024 in observance of the New Year's holiday. The City offices will reopen on Tuesday, December 26th and January 2nd at 8 a.m. 
The Prescott Public Library will be closed on December 25th and January 1st. Prescott Public Library will be open normal hours 1 to 5 p.m. on Sunday, December 24th and Sunday, December 31st. There are numerous trash and recycling holiday schedule changes. There'll be no trash pickup on either December 25th or January 1st. Please check the city's website for detailed information regarding the full schedule changes. The transfer station will be closed on Saturday, December 23rd and Monday, December 25th. It'll reopen on Tuesday, December 26th at 7 a.m. The transfer station will also be closed on Saturday, December 30th and Monday, January 1st. It will reopen Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024 at 7 a.m. I wish you a very Merry Christmas during this festive holiday season. I'm Mayor Phil Good and I'll update you again next week.